Welcome back, Jumpstar friends. How are you? Today we're going to be learning about mirrors and how they reflect objects and light. So, we just finished reading the story of Raccoon on his own. And in the story, the raccoon sees his reflection in the water. So, when calm water has a smooth and shiny surface, it allows people to see their reflections, just like the raccoon is. We also have these things called mirrors. You might have some in your house. And mirrors are also smooth and shiny, like the water can be. And we can see the reflection of something in them. So you can see two of what I'm holding. There's also this stuff called um, mirrored paper. And it's a special kind of paper because it acts like a mirror, but it's not breakable. So this paper, you can bend it, crumple it, and it still won't break, but we can still see the reflection in it. Sometimes it's a little harder to see with the mirrored paper because it is all crumpled. So, in this, with the mirrored paper, the reflection isn't as clear. You can see it up here in the corner. And that's because this paper is not made of glass like a real mirror is. And an actual mirror can reflect the image more clearly than the paper does. Mirrors and mirror paper can reflect an image or what something looks like. And they can also reflect light. So right here I have, I have my light over here. And when I move the mirror, it makes the light bounce back. <laughs> and a lot of the time when we have mirrors like this and you're shining it, it'll make, um, you can see it on my hand, it makes a little light. And you can play with them and move them around all over the place. This is a kaleidoscope. In a kaleidoscope, there's a bunch of different pieces of mirror inside of them. So that's what this part is. It's all different parts of a mirror. And sometimes, depending on the kaleidoscope, there can be really fun different colored pieces inside um, that make the light that reflects off um, become those colors. So, inside of your Let's Find Out About It bags, you guys also have your own kaleidoscope. And we're going to practice looking through them together. So take out your kaleidoscope from your Let's Find Out About It bag. What you're going to do is you're going to look into this little hole and you're going to point this end towards a light. So you're going to look into it, point it towards a light. You'll probably see a whole bunch of different images within the kaleidoscope. And that's because there's so many different pieces of mirror inside. You can also um, spin your kaleidoscope to change um, change how the, the images look inside of the kaleidoscope. So how this kaleidoscope works is that when the light is coming inside of the tube, it's bouncing off of the mirrors and the glass that can be that is inside. And the light is reflected in all different directions. And that creates the different colors and patterns that we see when we're looking through the kaleidoscope. And it, 
you can you can look at it not directly at a light, but it it works a lot better when you do look at it at a light. And it's a lot brighter and the colors are much better and they're easier to see as well. So light bounces off of objects and into our eyes. And that's how we see things. So shiny things like our mirrors and glass, they reflect a lot of light. And that's the kind of light that we see into in the kaleidoscope. So when we look in a mirror, we can see our reflection. In our mirror, we can see our reflection. So there's two of something. A mirror can show us what we look like, the color of our eyes, and the color of our hair, what our noses look like, and whether we're smiling or we're frowning. So in your art activity this week, you guys are able to use a mirror to see your own reflection, and you're going to make a special kind of picture called a self-portrait, which is a picture of yourself. Have a great day, friends.